All right, we're going to continue our opponent previews with uh, Parker Ream, who covers uh, Baylor for Fox 44 in Waco. And, uh, you know, I've been doing a lot of these on Zoom, but I figured while I'm here at Media Days, I mean, let's you get you guys well. yeah. in person. So, Parker, thanks for joining me. Yeah, of course. Happy to be here and really cool. I mean, this is an awesome event. I, I mean, heading from AT&T Stadium to this. Yeah nothing like it yeah, yeah. It, it, well and coming from pac 12 media day last year where it was in like the nightclub in uh, in vegas <laughs> this is much better than, yeah, than right. that so um yeah much better um and hopefully the football at baylor is better than it was last year you know you and i were talking before this like you got to feel what it was like covering Colorado a little bit last year, three and nine, not the year that Baylor wanted, obviously. Um, you know, we've been through a lot of that with Colorado, but um, what is the vibe around Baylor coming into this year? I know, you know, Dave Aranda is it fourth year, fourth year. Fourth yes. year? And so it, it's sort of from the outside looking in, it sort of feels like this is a big year for coach Aranda, but what, what's the vibe around Baylor coming into this year? Yeah, I think there's a little bit more hope at yeah. least this year. And, and it's kind of a make or break year for Dave Aranda. A lot of people thought maybe last year, was his ending point yeah. with with the Baylor Bears and and he actually talked a while ago about when all the Christmas commercials start coming out it was kind of a funny quote but when the Christmas commercials start coming out that's when coaches start getting fired yeah. uh, and you know that's the kind of time it was that breaking point for him but they decided to give him another year so I think that's kind of where Baylor's at it's their chance to prove this is the right regime to lead Baylor potentially you know to that top spot in the Big 12 and that's yeah. kind of what they're looking for right now a lot of talent across the board. Yeah. It's just if they can put the right pieces together, and I think that's honestly kind of the same for Colorado too. Yeah. So, so what? Where does the hope stem from? I mean, um, uh, I'm not saying there's not, but you know, I'm just asking. What's better about Baylor this year than last year? Like, where do you think that hope comes from? I think they didn't lose a lot of pieces, at least veteran pieces, mm -hmm. uh, to the draft. There was only a few of them. Gabe Hall, he went undrafted, but probably their most promising defensive prospect. Yeah. He went to the draft. A lot of younger pieces stepping up. Caden Jenkins, he was a freshman. All-American at corner. He's going to be a big piece, integral piece for Baylor going forward. And then you also have at the quarterback position, I think the offense is really where people are starting to look at as yeah. what is this team going to look like? Because you have so much talent in the running back room, but the quarterback room, you have the Mac player of the year that transferred in from Toledo, Daquan Finn. Yeah. He's, he's as good as any in the country. He really impressed the Manning Passing Academy. That's what we're going to have to see is, is he the starting quarterback or is it going to be Sawyer Robertson, who was a Mississippi State transfer, been around the program for a year. Dave Aranda still has yet to name who's going to be the starting quarterback. But I think that's where the hope comes from is if this guy's as dynamic as we've seen at Toledo and in Mac play, can he yeah. do the same in the Big 12? And if he can... It's going to be a special season. Yeah, and obviously so many teams, it depends on that quarterback, right? And so how about defensively? Where where are the Bears at this point? Defensively, I think I think they're at a good, good point. Uh, a lot of their, I guess, improvement has come through the transfer portal. You've yeah. seen a lot of those pieces kind of come through, and they've filled a lot of positions of need. Offensive line and defensive line, I think, is really where they struggled right. a season ago yeah. in the trenches. They've really shored that up. So that's that's going to be a point of emphasis, at least going forward on the defense. Secondary, like I said, Caden Jenkins leading the charge. Yeah. They're very experienced in that area. So I, yeah. I expect that to probably be where the defense excels. Linebacker position is also pretty good. Defensive line is the one question that really needs to be answered. Yeah. And Baylor, uh, you know, still in the Big 12. Colorado's rejoining the Big 12. Yeah. Uh, this was a rivalry for a little bit. It's not as deep of a rivalry as like CU and Oklahoma State or CU and Kansas State. But they've they played Baylor a lot. And so are, are Baylor fans excited about, you know, a trip to Boulder this year? Yeah, I think I think anyone would be excited about a trip to Boulder. I think it's more also what Dion brings to the table here. Yeah. Like he he brings so much excitement and just the feeling of going to play Colorado now, it yeah. means a little bit more, I think, wouldn't you agree that yeah. than it did a couple of years ago when right. they weren't nearly as good or the hype wasn't around the program. So I think it's two teams really that almost need to prove themselves this year. But it should be should be a great matchup. I've, yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Well, luckily for you know, if you're going to Boulder, at least you get it in September. Yeah, because right. that's a great time to go to Boulder. And so definitely uh, don't want to be in Texas around that time. No, you don't. Yeah. And so so it's a good time to go to Boulder. But this Baylor team will be interesting. I know the projections are not. Uh, they don't. There's not a lot expected of them. So maybe that's a good thing for Baylor. And that hey. You're not expected. Maybe you can uh, you know, rise up and uh, surprise some teams. Yeah, and I think that's kind of what we're hoping to see at least tomorrow is yeah. what are the – that's the question that's asked every year. What are the expectations of this team? What's going to be different, you know, about this team? I think that's what Dave has to answer tomorrow yeah. is, is this team going to be another 3-9 and nine season or are they going to compete for a Big 12 title? 
honestly, I could see them doing both. And that's and that's the scary part about it. It's just so volatile in this conference. Like yeah. they talked about, the parody of this conference is unreal. So uh, I think it's just going to be interesting. Yeah, well, it'll be a lot of fun. And I know uh, Buff fans are excited to have Baylor you know, back in Boulder. It's homecoming uh, for the Buffs that week, too. So uh, that'll be exciting. We'll see you in Boulder in September. Yeah, sounds good. Right, Thank thanks, you, Parker. Him.